How's it going, everyone? Max here, back with some impressions and kind of like my overall thoughts on Super Smash Bros. 4 on the Nintendo 3DS. I went into this game kind of with a few expectations based off versions of it that I played several times before this and had my thoughts severely altered through the process of playing it, and that's what I really wanted to talk about. A few days back, I put up this big review talking about the online, the netcode, how the overall experience works online for Smash Bros. 4, and was overall fairly surprised with how good it can run, especially with good connections, but it has issues with ish with like bad connections. But um, really, really positive overall, and a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But I didn't get a chance to talk about the game itself, now that I've actually had a chance to play through a lot of the different modes and a lot of what Smash 3DS has to offer, in comparison to what the Wii U might be offering uh, fairly soon. I do hope the Wii U version is upgraded in comparison, because there is a little bit about Smash 3DS that feels somewhat bare bones in comparison, especially the, the, the lack of subspace emissary, like an actual thorough story mode of some kind. It is a little daunting when you fire up Smash 3DS and the game launches into the title screen with all the characters you've unlocked and everything, and then if you let it play through, it just plays through a brief, like, how-to-play type of thing, which you see in a lot of other Smash Brothers games, but nothing else, like, no other story kind of stuff. There is a mode that, like, la like Smash Run that allows you to go through a lot of the game and get these abilities and upgrades and use your custom items and parts, which is very cool. All that stuff is really neat. It's kind of a, a bummer that there's not a mode that is in for glory online that you can use that stuff. But overall, it does add a lot that you can do to customize characters, so I, I do give it points there. But it's weird just to have not a story of any kind. Um, I find it kind of shocking that there's a lot of high production and high value in a lot of the media for Smash Brothers 4, including the trailers, where there's like anime cutscenes, there's crazy CG cinematics between all the characters and their reveals, and there's just none of that in Smash Brothers 3DS. Although it might make sense because it is the 3DS version and they can only fit so much as far as the game's size, so they might want to cut down on FMV sequences and stuff like that. I do have a funny feeling that the Wii U version is going to be fully flourished and all these big beautiful cutscenes and everything like that is going to be amazing to look at. Um, it does feel like it's kind of lacking a little bit on the presentation end, but in terms of gameplay, which is what's really important, man, this is a lot different than what I played. I played a, quite a bit of the version, the 3DS version at uh, E3, and I played a, a lot of the Wii U version at E3 and Comic-Con, and both of those were both the E3 build, so the game was relatively unchanged between the two. And it could be a placebo effect, it could be just me, it could be the environment we were playing in, but I could definitely I could definitely tell you that what I'm playing now feels different. It absolutely feels like a different game than what I was playing before. A lot of the recovery on some moves still is pretty delayed, and uh, the overall slowness of the game isn't as fast as something like Smash Bros. Melee, but it's still really good. And when people describe it as being between Smash Bros. Brawl and Smash Bros. Melee, well, they're dead on. That's exactly what it feels like. But especially with this version, even though you have the 3DS pad and the really bunk analog stick that doesn't work too well and has been breaking for a lot of people, thank God not for myself, it feels great. Like, I'm actually kind of surprised by how good the game feels, especially with the online environment and when you go play offline, it feels even better. Very precise, very to the T, as soon as you press your buttons, things happen. And that's the best, is that the overall feel of Smash Bros. 4 is a lot better than what I remember playing several times a few months back. This is fantastic, this is actually great news for anybody that's been looking forward to this game, because I can tell you that this game is fun. It's actually extremely fun to play, but a lot of crazy mechanic stuff is totally different with the game, including ledge mechanics and stuff like that. I'd like to I'd like to preface any of this uh, any of these these things I'm saying right now with the fact that I am not a pro Smash player by any means. I am the definition of a casual Smash player, but I know fighting games and I know what what it takes to make fighting games feel good. And Smash Brothers all, in all sense of the term is a fighting game, although presented a lot differently. So I think a lot of things carry over in what it takes to make this game feel good and actually be fun and have fun playing it. And some stuff has changed, which is kind of interesting. There's uh, the usual stock layout for this game is like two stocks per per character. And as soon as you kill a person two times, you kind of win in online modes. And I think that makes sense because it takes a long time to kill people in this game. There is an interesting rage mechanic that was recently discovered within the system that is kind of similar to Tekken 6's system. 
where it, you take more damage over time and your character goes into this rage mode where if you're in a higher percentage in Smash Brothers 4, you actually dish out more smash damage. More specifically, it's not an increase of the percentage, like damage ratio, but it allows them to fly further. It actually just lets them go in a further direction. There's also crazy other stuff regarding directional impact and um, how that works and how you can kind of counter it now, which is a lot different than previous Smash games, but the one thing I'll definitely tell you is that with some characters, it feels like it takes a very long time to KO somebody. Uh, in this game in general, it feels like you live forever, which is why I feel the normal thing that I would do in Smash games, which is play five stocks, doesn't really apply anymore. I'd rather play two or three now because it just takes so damn long to get that KO. The other thing I'd like to say is that in regards to stages, the stages and the stage selection that's available on the 3DS version is okay, but man, do I like the stages in Brawl just way more. Um, I don't know, something about the stages in this game don't excite me as much as some of the other games. Some of them are very cool, and it's fantastic that you get the final destination option for all the stages, but there is just some much more creative stuff in um, even Smash Brothers Melee and Smash Brothers Brawl. I do really hope that Nintendo jumps on the DLC bandwagon, as much as people are going to hate me for saying that. I do want to see this game get support after it comes out. After there's things known about it, there's patches, there's adjustments, I would love to see that, because I think something like this has never really happened for Nintendo before, where we have a Smash game that can actually be updated for how players are playing it, for what players want, and we can actually get future installments of either DLC or content packs related to what people like about Smash, because after playing the 3DS version, dude, I just want more. I want more costumes for the characters, I want more stuff in general, and it's just, it's packed with so much more as it is, but I don't know, I'm kind of greedy with this stuff. It's just, it's a, such a good crafted game that I just want to see them do more with it, and if they brought back, like, Smash Brothers Melee maps and stuff like that, like the old Majora's Mask map, Dude, I love some of that stuff from those old games, so I'm just saying that I really like seeing support for games after they come out, and I think that there's a lot of opportunities that Nintendo can jump on, even though Sakurai has mentioned many times before that he does not want to do DLC. We'll see. I think there's a huge missed opportunity here, and there's a lot of people like myself who just like this stuff that I have no problem paying, up, paying for it because it would just be fluffy fun. It's not going to do something like give me a stat boost to my Mega Buster that's going to make me better than everybody else. No, it's just going to be a different stage that you can play on or a couple new colors. Either way, guys, uh, my impressions of Smash are highly positive. I'm actually going to wait till the Wii U version comes out because I do hope the Wii U version kind of like revamps some things that's missing in the 3DS version, like the overall presentation with the cinematics and everything like that, as well as the Maybe the stage selection, I do want to see more stages because I, I honestly, that's one of my biggest gripes is that I feel the stages are kind of boring in this one. And my favorite stage is literally the first one, the overall battlefield stage with three platforms. I think that's just the best stage in the game and it looks fantastic. So either way, if you guys have actually played a little bit of Smash 3DS, let me know what you think. If you had the chance to play the game before at like an event, specifically at E3 or Comic-Con or something that the game was playable before and you feel that it's different as well, let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious if I'm absolutely crazy on this one, but a lot, of, a lot of good news for you guys that are looking forward to Smash. It's going to be great, and as soon as the Wii U version does hit, it's been rumored that it's dropping on November 21st. No confirmation yet, but Sakurai recently did say that Japan is going to be getting their Wii U version ahead of everyone else, similar to the 3DS. And I'm, I'm going to make a guess that that's going to be taking place on November 1st. But the nice thing is, is that we have access to a Japanese Wii U here for like the overall broadcasting area. So we're going to be streaming a whole bunch of Smash Wii U as soon as it's available in Japan. So if you guys want to check that out, our live stream link is in the list below. And I'll be back with videos on this channel as soon as we get a chance to go into Smash Brothers on the Wii U. But in the meantime, I'm going to have more vids showing up over the next few days of me playing online with Mega Man and a few other characters as I do my best to try to learn how to play Smash with all these other guys that are crazy good at the game. As always, dudes, thank you a ton for hanging out. Thank you a ton for supporting me playing this game and trying to get into it. I'm really having fun, and I want to learn more along with everyone else. My name is Maximilian, and I'll see you guys next time.